Hello all, I am Vamsi Krishna. Today I am going to discuss about virtual memory in page fault from lecture number 27. So previously we have discussed that there are two types of memories. One is the primary memory and the secondary memory. And uh, these three memories and another is catch. So this catch, primary and secondary memory, they are made up of, uh, they are built up of different RAMs and they have different access times. So catch has better performance or better access time compared to primary memory and which is better compared to secondary memory and similarly the cost of cache is much higher than primary memory and which is much higher than secondary memory so this uh, memory arrangement or memory hierarchy is made so as to uh, access more data in a faster rate so the main disadvantage in what we till now what we have studied the main drawback what we have studied till now is that the primary memory though it has high uh, low uh, access speed access time or high access speed so but the size of primary memory is limited whereas secondary memory though it has large amount of space but the access time is high but in primary memory though the access time is high access uh, speed is high but the amount of size in primary memory is low as a result if we want to uh, if we, uh, if, we, uh, if the processor wants high amount of data or when we are playing any game where the processor needs very high data this uh, primary memory will not suffice the size of primary memory will not suffice. So in this condition, we need something called as virtual memory. So basically virtual memory is a memory management technique that is implemented using both hardware and software and it maps primary addresses used by program called virtual addresses into physical addresses used in computer memory. So a processor has something called as primary memory, uh, something called virtual, ad virtual address and the main memory has something called physical address. So this uh, virtual memory is a memory management technique that maps this virtual address that is present in PC to the physical address that is present in the main to the, in the main memory. So this virtual memory will use both active RAM and inactive uh, hard drive to uh, compensate this limitation of uh, main memory or the primary memory. So the system using virtual memory can load larger programs or multiple programs running at the same time allowing each one to operate as if it has infinite memory and without having to purchase more RAM. So when the RAM size is low this virtual memory plays a very important role. So modern microprocess intended for general purpose use, uh, use a memory management unit or MMU. This translates virtual addresses that is present in the PC into physical addresses that is present in the main memory. So let us see what is this uh, address translation, what is memory management unit and what is virtual memory in great detail. So virtual memory is divided into various blocks. Each block is called a page. So each page contains certain amount of memory. So this pa these pages are accessed by, pro by, uh, by PC by something called as virtual address. And the mapping of this virtual address that is present in the PC to physical address that is present in the main memory is called address translation. So if the page that is wanted by PC, if it is present in main memory, it is called page hit. Otherwise it is called page hit, page miss. So if it is a page miss, the disadvantage is that it needs to be, the data needs to be fetched from secondary memory which takes lot of time or millions of clock cycles. So this is a processor. So this is the MMU, memory management unit or the translator. So the virtual, it translates virtual address into physical address. So this is a physical address. If it is a page hit, there is no problem. The, the processor can fetch the uh, memory page from main memory. But if it is a page hit, it needs to get the page from secondary memory which take millions of clock cycles. Now let us see what is address translation. So the, memory me the virtual memory has two types, two blocks. One is the virtual page number and a page offset. The virtual page number translate into physical page number. And page offset is the page size. So page number, this is a page number, other is page offset. This page number translate into physical page number. The virtual page number translates to physical page number. So this is called address translation. This virtual page number, this virtual page number is present in, uh, in the process in the PC. This physical page number is present in the main memory. Let us see what is page hit and page miss. Suppose if PC wants certain uh, certain page, it needs to access from main memory 
so if it is there in the main memory it is a page hit so if it wants to access that first the address needs to be translated but if d suppose d is not there here d is not there in the primary memory in that case it needs to be it needs to access from secondary memory which uh, is called page fault and it takes millions of clock cycles and mind that before uh, it, the processor cannot directly access uh, main memory first it has to go through cache so the memory is transferred from secondary memory to primary memory only when it is required only when it is required the memory is translated between secondary and primary the page faults are reduced by using fully associative cache method so we have studied what is fully associative cache method the main ad advantage of fully associative cache method is that it has lower it, it reduces the page faults but the problem is that it needs uh, it, it takes lot of time to compute where exactly the memory is present in the uh, in the primary memory so clever algorithms are used to handle the page faults in replacing old pages with a new one and write back mechanism is used to write back to the secondary memory so you know there are two types of write back mechanisms write through and write back so write back mechanism is used for this that means only whenever it is required it is written into secondary memory so lot of page re uh, replacement algorithms are used now let us go through some of them firstly you know what is first in and first out that is whichever comes first will be replaced first or will be out first and another is least recently used algorithm that is uh, which is least recently used will be replaced let us see there is one more called optimal page algorithm so in this algorithm the uh, operating system detects what detects or it computes what will be the next page that will be used by the processor and accordingly it will replace so suppose for example if the page that is not going to be used for next 6 seconds will be swapped over a page that is going to be used for next 0.4 seconds so basically this is the most efficient or the most optimal algorithm because it detects what is going to be the next uh, uh, page that is used by the system so but general processor cannot implement this algorithm it needs high uh, high working uh, uh, processor to uh, use this type of algorithms but this these type of algorithms exist are still used and they still exist they exist basically so there are one uh, there are few more algorithms called least frequently used algorithm those are the this is the algorithm where if the uh, it replaces the pages that are most least recently used so but this algorithm fails in the situation in which the page is heavily used in the initial phase but it is never used again suppose if more uh, if the if certain pages are more used more number of times that is less less uh, replaced and on the contrary there is something called most frequently used algorithm that replaces that basically replaces the ones that are most frequently used so this is on contrary to least frequently used algorithm and the uh, and the logic is that if it is using so many times it if you are used so many times it won't be used again so that is replaced so basically if for general purposes for general purpose least recently used algorithm is used so let us come back to the topic if processor wants to uh, access a certain data so we have studied that uh, it uses uh, fully associative cache that means it has to search there are no sets and for accessing a particular page in the physical memory it has to search the entire physical memory the which is impossible so what is the solution so page table is a solution so page table contains the dictionary it acts as a dictionary between uh, between the pages and and the uh, and between the page, uh, page and the uh, and it, it's a uh, address physical number in the physical memory it's like a dictionary so before going to the directly going to the page page memory uh, page memory first it goes to this page table looks up where it is present uh, at which location does the corresponding page present and it fetches from the primary memory so this page table is also present in the physical memory and every process has its own page uh, own page table and a page table register is to map that particular memory let us understand what it is suppose if it wants to access a particular page from the physical memory first it goes to the page table and it accessed it it access the uh, page from the primary memory this page table also has a valid bit that means if it is present in the if it is present in the primary memory the valid bit is 1 if the particular page is not present the valid bit is 0 and it is a page fault 
and it needs to go to next level hierarchy so first it goes to when when processor wants certain page it goes to page table entry it looks up there if it is present the valid bit is 1 and the corresponding dictionary is present so page table register is used to find out where page table entry is present in the primary me prim primary memory and if it is there if it is a page hit it is accessed but if it is not there in the page table entry it is also not there in the primary mem the page is not there in the primary memory and it needs to fetch from secondary memory so this is a page fault so what is fast now uh, we have studied that accessing memory from uh, main memory takes hundreds of clock cycle so which is not uh, very beneficial so here for fast addressing we use something called table look buffer that means it acts like sort of a cache so before going to main memory and looking up in page table entry first it goes to table uh, table look buffer it looks up there and if it is there if that particular dictionary is there it go it sees there that data with using that data it goes to the primary memory and it gets the particular page if it is not there that means if it is a page uh, uh, table look up uh, if it is tlb miss then it goes to page table entry and the process continues so in conclusion the processor first goes to uh, tlb so if by by the data present the tlb so first the address needs to be translated into physical address then it goes to primary memory does it no first it goes to cache then if it is not there in cache then it goes to primary memory so i am done thank you very much